Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel His Wings My Refuge, Suze here. In today's video we're going to be having a little chat about borax. Now before we jump into this video I do need to give a disclaimer. I am by no means an expert on borax, chemical solutions, chemistry or cleaning products. But I have gone ahead and I have done my research from multiple different websites to give you the information that I have for you today. So one thing that I will encourage you to do is please, 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 please go ahead and do your own research into borax and whether it is a product that you want to use or whether it's one that you probably don't want to use, depending on your situation. The first thing I want to talk about with borax is that borax and boric acid are not the same thing. Many people think that they are the same, but no, they are not. So borax is sodium tetraborate and boric acid is hydrogen borate. So they have some sim similar chemical properties, but they are completely different chemical compounds. Now, borax is used in the making of boric acid but the final product of boric acid is actually very, very toxic and we use it mostly as a pesticide. And it's not normally a pesticide that you would have in your home because of its toxicity. Borax, on the other hand, is a naturally occurring mineral that we have to mine to get out of the earth. And how we refine it is very similar to how we get table salt or sodium chloride, where we do a lot of evaporation, over and over and over again until you're left with the soft colorless crystals that you know as borax. Now, another caveat, just because borax is a naturally occurring mineral does not necessarily mean it is safe in all human applications. Think about it, arsenic, that's a naturally occurring substance. Not sure that I would want to use it for anything personally though, because I know that arsenic can, well, kill me. So just because it's natural does not necessarily mean it is good for every purpose that a human being has. Now borax is sold looking like it's all green and a green mean cleaning machine. It's got the green um, packaging and it always says easy green cleaning solutions because it is natural. However just like any other cleaning product you need to make sure that it is handled safely, used safely and stored safely away from your children and pets. Now we all know borax that comes like this for cleaning our homes. However, borax can be used for many, many other commercial applications as well. It's used in many, many household cleaning products and it's used in chemical laboratories. We also use it to help with mining operations and it is a component of glass and ceramics, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't know that. Did anyone else know that borax was used to make glass and ceramics? I didn't know that. Now, the big question that we always get about borax is, is borax safe to use in the home? Now, we've got the people on one hand who are happy to use borax just willy-nilly and say that it's safe and say that you could drink it because it's good for your health. Please do not ingest borax. Just don't do it. Don't drink borax. Don't be an idiot. All right. So there's one extreme where people think that borax is because it's natural, it's completely safe. And then you've got the other extreme where borax is the devil incarnate. I kind of sit somewhere in the middle. So is borax safe to use? And from the research that I've done, generally speaking, yes, borax is safe to use in your house as long as it is being used correctly and responsibly and you're keeping it away from young children and your pets. Just as you would with any cleaning product, with any bleach, with any toilet cleaner, with any cleaning products we want to keep away from young children and pets. And borax is no different. Now, there are some safety issues in terms of borax. Some things that we need to be aware of if we're going to be using borax regularly. Borax does come with safety warnings. Often, if you are pregnant or you're breastfeeding, it is not a good idea to be using borax because it has been shown in some studies to affect um, the fetus because it can cross the placental barrier to the fetus, cause low birth weight, as well as 
other developmental issues. So if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, I'd suggest that you either do your research really, really well if you want to use it, or just, you know what, put it away, save it for when you're not anymore. There are a couple of other things that we need to be careful of with borax. Never ingest borax. It will start to make your organs shut down. It can make you very, very sick and it can lead to death. As little as 10 milligrams of borax ingested can lead to death in adults and as little as five grams of borax ingested by children, young children, can kill a young child. So it is highly, it is really, really important that you do not swallow, eat, lick, ingest borax. Just don't, just don't, don't do it don't do it. The other thing that you shouldn't do, you should be really careful with, is trying not to inhale borax. So if you're going to be using borax for cleaning, turn your fans off and make sure you're inside so that it's not windy because you don't want to be inhaling the stuff. The body breaks borax down really quickly, so the, the reaction that your body has will be very, very quick as well. So do not ingest, do not inhale. Keep this away from the eyes. It is an eye irritant, so obviously be very careful when handling it and of course another really important thing to do and something that I need to do more often is to wear gloves when you are using it because it can be a skin irritant if you get too much on you it can start to burn your skin like I said before just like with any other cleaning product it is better to be safe than sorry we need to use precautions when we use borax just like when we use any other cleaning product Honestly, just some common sense is going to do you good with borax. Now we're going to jump right on in, now that we've talked about all the safety and all of the things that, you know, should come before any of these videos, we are going to jump right on in to five ways that I use borax in my home that helps me keep my house sparkling clean and smelling fresh. Number one. In the laundry. Now, most people who use borax or have borax or know that their grandparents use borax know that borax is really, really, really good in the laundry. Borax is a water softener, which means that if you've got hard water like we have, it's really good for softening that water. It means you don't have to use a softener. It makes your whites whiter and your brights brighter, and it is a deodorizer. So all those stinky socks, this stuff is the bomb for stinky socks. And there are a few ways that we can actually use it in the laundry. The first way is we can just use it on its own. Just chuck it in the washing machine at the beginning of the cycle and let it do it, let it do its thing. We can also add it to our other laundry detergent as a booster. Just like OxyClean or Nappy San or any of those things, you can use it as a booster. I've used it for stripping laundry. It's really, really good for stripping laundry. We just, and I will link that video in the cards above because I've already done that one and I used borax for it and it came out really, really well and I was really, really pleased with that. And of course, it can be used as a stain remover. So if you wanna use it as a stain remover, all you need to do is mix one tablespoon of borax with two tablespoons of water and make paste Spread that paste all over the stain on your clothing and let it sit for about half an hour. Once it's been sitting for a little while, go back to it, give it a really good scrub and then throw it in the washing machine, just as you would any other clothes. The only thing you need to remember if you use borax for your washing is making sure that everything gets rinsed thoroughly with water once it's done, before you dry it and before you wear it again, just so that you don't get those irritants on your skin. Number two, we're going to unclog our drains. So your drain in the kitchen or the bathroom, it stinks, it keeps clogging up, what's going on? Oftentimes, especially in the kitchen, when you are cleaning your pots and pans, a whole bunch of grease and grime is going straight down your drains. And it can block it up, it can make it stink, it can be nasty. So borax is actually a really, really good drain unclogger. All you need to do Tip half a cup of borax down the drain, chase it down with two cups of boiling water that you've just boiled from the kettle and let it sit for about 10 minutes. It'll sit in that S-bend. After about 10 minutes, go ahead and chase the whole lot down just with regular warm tap water and it will dissolve all that grease and grime, wash it away and because it's a deodorizer, it will make the sink smell nice and it doesn't smell like grease and grime anymore. Number three, a toilet cleaner. 
So, I used to make toilet fizzy bombs and I just found that they just were not doing the job. However, borax is amazing for cleaning your toilet. All you need to do, one cup into the toilet bowl and leave it overnight. If you don't want to leave it overnight because you use a toilet overnight, leave it during the day. So what I do is I go to work. We're all out of the house during the day at work and at school. So I'll chuck a cup of borax into the toilet before I leave. And when I come home, I give it a really good scrub with the toilet brush, flush it away. Sparkling clean toilet. Thank you very much. Number four, carpet stain remover. So if you've got pets in your house, or you've got toddlers, or you've got husbands, let's be honest, you're gonna get carpet stains. One of the best ways to get rid of carpet stains is borax and, you guessed it, water. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a solution of half a cup of borax to two cups of warm water and stir it up, dissolve it all up in there. You're gonna saturate a cloth or a sponge and you are going to scrub that stain half to death and saturate the area in the carpet that has the stain on it. Once you've scrubbed it, you're gonna let it sit for about half an hour and then you're gonna vacuum it up and allow it to dry. Now, because Borax is a really great deodorizer, it's gonna get rid of the smell if it is a pet urine stain. It is, it's gonna just neutralize that smell. It's gonna be awesome, trust me. So good. Number five, this is the last one on my list, and this works amazingly, is you can use Borax to clean your shower, your tiles, your bathtubs, your basins in the bathroom. It's amazing for it. All you gotta do is get a damp cloth or a damp sponge, sprinkle a little bit of Borax on there, and just start wiping. It works like an abrasive, it takes all that grime off, and leaves it sparkling clean. The only thing you need to remember is, you guessed it, rinse away with fresh water and make sure it is all completely rinsed away very thoroughly so there's no borax solution left on there. And that guys is my take on borax, my five tips of how to use borax in the home that I use all the time and works amazingly well. Again, do your research, honestly. Don't just take my word for it, go do your research, make the decisions for yourself. If you enjoyed that video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click that red subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification so you know when new videos are coming up. And leave us some love in the comments. Please try and be positive. We want this to be a positive channel. We don't want any negativity here. That would be great. If you have other tips on how to use Borax or how you've used Borax in your home safely, please leave them in the comments down below as well. Any questions, pop them in. I will do my best to research and answer them in a future video if possible. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.